Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I am going to go through a little trick I learned on searching the trademark database. Um, I thought it was very useful. It took large search results and shrunk them down to a very, very short list. So I want to go through that with you guys instead of the long, arduous process of typing in a search into tests and then having to go through pages and pages of results. So. Um, I have another video on uh, test search, which I will post, although it will be irrelevant if you go through this because you'll learn all of the ways to do this. So if you have not already, and this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. Uh, go ahead and click like and subscribe below. That does keep me motivated to keep doing these videos for all of you beautiful people. Um, really interested in teaching people uh, tips and tricks on how to get their business going and what they can do to be successful And I believe that trademark and copyright is one of the bigger things that you need to pay attention to as a digital designer So we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Um, I am on the USPTO website right now um, Just go ahead and click on trademarks and click on search trademarks and then click on search our trademark database If you don't want to go through that you could probably hop on Google and say that you would like to search for a trademark and the first thing that would pop up will probably be tests so as if you have gone through my previous video, you know that to do this, you want to click on basic word mark search. Um, you'll keep it as plural in singular and you want to do live. So for this example, I'm going to use the word summer because I am looking to do some summer designs. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and click on enter. And you can see that there was 1,326 results. So I would have to go through a ton of pages to see um, what kind of quotes are out there that I want to stay away from. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to spend all my time doing that. I have limited time. Time is money. So what you can do is you can come up to this menu here and click on free form. Now there are a ton of different codes and names that you can use, and I'm just going to teach you about a few of them. You can see that my search terms are already populated. Uh, when I create the blog post, I will have these in here so that you can reference them in the future. So the first thing you want to do is put your search term. In this case, I'm using summer and you're going to put in BI, which is the basic index. OK, then you're going to type in and in your in your international class. For me, I'm doing 25 because that's for apparel. Um, a lot of my designs are geared towards apparel. And so I want to make sure that I'm kosher in that regard. You also want to do and live, which means you're only searching for live trademarks. No reason in searching for a dead trademark because it's not active. And then you're also going to search for the registration number greater than zero. And that will make sure that everything that you're searching for is currently active and registered in the basic index of tests. And then click on submit query. Now you can see here very clearly that there are 117 records found on this page which is much less than 1,326 is what I believe it was. And I can just scroll on here and see, okay, these are the, the quotes or terms that I cannot use by themselves in my design, like summer rain, summer crush, uh, sweet summer baby, uh, vintage summer, uh, summer spark, summer sexy, if you're going for something like that. Um, so yeah, it's a lot easier for me to go through. And of course you want to click on each one because sometimes they see in this case they will actually have a design here. So I could use the word summer rainbow because they have actually um, registered this design in the trademark database. So um, the other thing that you can do if you're not just using a singular word is you can go back and I am just going to use uh, the example that my colleague had used, which was tired as a mother. And this one is kind of unique, so it will come up um, all, all well on its own. But if you click on free form, you can change this. What you want to do is type your term in with dashes and you want to change the BI to FM, which is full mark. And you can keep, keep everything else the same and submit your query and it will take you right there. So if you know of a phrase that is trademarked or you think might be trademarked, it will take you right to um, 
the term. And this is really if you're just targeting a certain phrase that you have an idea that is going to be trademarked, okay? And then the other way that we can do this is for like a full search term. So in this case, I'm gonna type in I love you and you can see there's 323 records found and it's a bunch of different stuff in here and not a lot of them have registration numbers. I'm gonna go back to Freeform. I'm gonna change the full mark back to basic index and I'm gonna show you two ways. I'm gonna type in I love you, click on submit query and you're gonna see that it's gonna come up with a ridiculous amount of results. And the reason why is it's searching for all of the words that you just put in there. So it's very important when you do this that you use quotations around your words and that is going to tell the search engine to look for this phrase. And anytime that this I love you phrase shows up in a trademark, it should pop up in the query. So you can see now there are 31 records and all of these have I love you in them. Okay, so that's another way to do it. Um, I guess if you go back to here, I'm trying to think of another term that might be trademarked. Let me check this list and see if I can't find one real fast. Let me just type in believe it because I see that in there. Okay, so here you go. Believe it, believe it, believe it, achieve it, which is what we just saw in the spreadsheet believe it or not, um, and these are all, you know, different things. So <clears throat> there's a quicker way for you to go ahead and search. That's all I'm really going to go through. You can play around with it um, depending on the codes, so you can get a little faster with it. Um, I'll get a blog post up on this pretty quickly, so that way you can go ahead and um, exercise how this works, and also I will include a link down in this video to the page that I use to go through the international classes. And like I said, if you need anything, feel free to drop a comment below. As I said at the beginning of the video, if you haven't already and you made it this far, please definitely go ahead and click like and subscribe below. That does keep me motivated to continue making these videos. And if you haven't already, go hop over to my Facebook group and join up. I'm looking to grow that so that it is not just centric around my stuff, but there to answer questions for people coming into design and how I might be able to help or how the community might be able to help. So go ahead and go on and do that. And like I said, if you need anything, feel free to drop a comment, contact me through Facebook, email, whatever floats your boat. So I hope you all learned something today and have a great night.